Hi. The topic that we are going to discuss today is how light beams are transmitted on a fiber. This is the structure of an optical fiber. An optical fiber is an optical waveguide that guides light waves. It consists of two basic concentric elements, core and cladding. Core is a narrow cylindrical strand of glass and cladding is the tubular jacket surrounding it. The core has a higher refractive index than the cladding. The input light is focused onto this core and the light at this end will be transmitted to the other end with the help of total internal reflection. The refractive index of the core is made higher just because of the reason that total internal reflection should happen. Let's discuss the different types of fibers used in communication. The first classification is based on the number of modes. The term modes refers to paths. There are a finite number of possible paths for the light to take in order to enter the fiber and propagate by total internal reflections. So according to the number of paths provided, fibers can be classified as single mode fibers and multi mode fibers. Single mode fibers offers only a single path for the light beam and a multi mode fiber offers multiple paths for light beams. There is one more classification of fibers. It is based on the RI profile or the refractive index profile. According to this type of classification, fibers are classified as step index fiber and braided index fiber even though having these two type of classifications in general we can say that there are three types of fibers the first one single mode step index fiber multi mode step index fiber and multi mode graded index fiber let's discuss this in detail this is a multi-mode fiber. Light beams are being transmitted through the core and the outer covering is the cladding space. Here, the core diameter is large enough for the light to take multiple paths. This will be one path. Here, we can see another path for light. At this position, it is core cladding boundary this fiber is designed to have total internal reflection so when it reaches this core cladding boundary other than penetrating into this cladding space the light beam will be reflecting back into this core itself we can see one more path here total internal reflection happens at this position here also we are having the same conditions that are suitable for total internal reflection so total internal reflection will happen until the other end is reached by seeing this diagram don't limit the number of modes as two three or four for example for a fiber with a core diameter of 62.5 microns using the light of wavelength 1300 nanometer the number of modes is around 400 depending on the difference in refractive index between the core and the cladding. The number of modes can be even higher. The problem with multi-mode operation is that some of the paths taken are longer than other paths. We can see this path is having so many reflections. But at the same time, this path is having only a few reflections. Thus what happens is, the light will arrive at different times according to the path taken. Therefore, the pulse tends to disperse or spread out as it travels through the fiber. This is one cause of intersymbol interference. Thus, with a multimode fiber, 
pulses can be sent only to shorter distances. In order to overcome this defect, another type of a fiber was introduced. It is braided index multimode fiber. In a multimode graded index fiber, the refractive index of the core changes gradually from the center to the edge. So the light traveling through the center of the fiber experiences a higher refractive index than the light traveling towards the cladding. Thus light on physically shorter parts travel more slowly than light on physically longer parts. Therefore, the speed of propagation of light on each path will be the same. As the refractive index of the core is different, the light follows a curved trajectory within the fiber. The pulse of light, composed of many modes, stays together. Thus, it allows transmission for longer distances than does a regular multimode transmission. Keep in mind one thing, only the refractive index of the core is graded but the refractive index of the cladding is stable. Here also, the core has a higher refractive index than the cladding. A graded index multimode fiber also provides a greater number of modes. With a wavelength of 1300 nanometer, the number of modes can be approximately 400 modes. And for a wavelength of 800 nanometer, the number of modes are 800 modes. This is another type of a fiber, single mode step index fiber. By the term itself, it is clear that the number of modes allowed is only one. Here, the main difference with that of the other type is that the core diameter is very small. If the fiber core is very narrow when compared to the wavelength of light used, then the light cannot travel in different modes. It allows only single path. Let's try to compare these three types of fibers. The dimensions of the fibers are specified here. The cladding diameter of a multimode step index fiber is 125 microns or micrometers. For a multimode graded index fiber also, the cladding diameter is the same. It is same for the single mode fiber also. Let's have a comparison of the core diameters. Here the core diameter of a multimode step index fiber is mentioned as 50 microns or 62 microns. For a graded index type multimode fiber also it is 50 or 62 microns. But for a single mode fiber it is represented as 9 microns. So the most differentiating factor is that the core diameter of a single mode fiber is very small. Usually it ranges from 8 to 10 microns. As the space provided is very small, the light beam or the electromagnetic wave is tightly held to travel through the axis of the fiber. So the total internal reflection happening here is not shown. The light beams are tightly held in this core area. But as the light is an electromagnetic wave, a significant proportion of the light actually travels through this cladding space. In the other two types of fibers, only the core portion is used, but in a single mode fiber, the core area and a slight portion of the cladding is also used. Therefore, the region in which the light travel in a single mode fiber is often called mode field and instead of mentioning the core diameter for a single mode fiber it is indicated as mode field diameter the comparative study of these three types of fibers can be done on the basis of ri profile or refractive index profile this shows the ri profile of a multi-mode step index fiber the y-axis represents the RI value. This shows the cladding diameter and this will be the core diameter. We know the refractive index of the core will be higher with that of the cladding. Usually, 
the cladding space will be made of pure silica and to make the core refractive index higher the silica will be topped with germanium dioxide this is the RAG profile of a multimode graded index fiber. We have already discussed the cladding portion is having a particular refractive index. But the refractive index of the core area is gradually changed. The highest refractive index will be at this position and towards the end of the core space it will be lower. This is achieved by using a varying level of dopant across the diameter of the core. Thus a graded index fiber can be represented with the parabolic index profile. The bandwidth distance product of a multimode graded index fiber is higher than that of the multimode step index fiber. This is the RI profile of a single mode fiber. A single mode fiber is characterized by its narrow core size. As with the multimode step index fiber, here also it is having a step format variation in the refractive index. The refractive index of the core will be greater than the refractive index of the cladding. The refractive index difference between the core and the cladding is very small. It is around 0.01. This is done to minimize attenuation. The index difference can be achieved either by doping the core with germanium dioxide, hence raising the RI of core portion or it can even be done by doping the cladding with fluoride in order to lower its refractive index. Thank you for watching.